So moving to our storyboard, uh, we're going to grab another view controller that will help us to create items. So we have the button already to call this, this view, but uh, we don't have the view yet. So let's scroll all the way down and grab a view controller. And we're going to place it right next to it. And I'm going to select my button here, control drag here, and call a segue on it. We're not going to give any identifier to our segue because uh, we're not going to call this in a code. Basically, whenever we click this button, it will take us to this, uh, to this view. So what this view will look like is let's jump to our ready application. So I'm going to select any of the ready categories. And if I click on the plus button, we will have some uh, text fields, a description, which is a text view, a button for our camera so we can choose the uh, pictures. And once we are done with our item, we're going to click on done in order to save it. So let's uh, make our user interface design. I'm going to select the title in order to call it add item. But uh, again, we have this bug. I'm going to select the push uh, segue, go to an old push and come back to the new one. And now we can set the title to add item. And then we need a bar button item so that we can call this our done button. Again, from custom, we're going to done. And let's grab a text field. So we need two of these. We say control C, control V. And then we need a text view. So this is going to be our description. It comes with dummy text, so just let's uh, get rid of it. I'm going to put this description here. Okay, for some reason it doesn't want to update. Anyway, um, let's set our placeholder. So it's going to be title and price for our text fields here. So the first one uh, placeholder is going to be title. Hit enter and then uh, this is going to be our price. And again, this is not visible. Most probably it's some kind of early beta version Xcode bug. Um, Let's just grab our button as well. And we're going to put it underneath. I'm going to select, let's see where my button disappeared. Let's just select this view here and change the color something to like red. It doesn't do anything. Okay, so this is clearly an Xcode bug here. Uh, we're going to work with it anyway. The button I'm going to set is going to be called camera. And let's just resize this, make it bigger. Oh, now everything is back. Okay. Um, the text view, I'm going to change the background color so that it's visible that it's something bigger than it actually is. Um, let's get the, the light gray one. Okay, and I will resize this and now it refreshes. Okay, so we have all our views uh, that we want to work with. Let's set our segues. So our uh, title is going to be, I say 22, 20 on each side and eight at the bottom. Uh, I forgot to add the right side here. All right, and the same thing is going to be with our price label. Uh, text field, sorry. And okay, I, I think I added twice the height, the top. Yeah, so I can get rid of one. And our text view, let's 
set this all right it doesn't really know where it is now uh, i can't even move it okay we are going to do it like 10 points on top and let's keep the uh, height 128 points hit enter yeah it clearly doesn't understand where these views are so the segue is not set correctly let's select our button so, and now you see it changed the place so i this is uh, one of the reasons i hate working with beta software so let's get rid of our top label and resize our button again in order to refresh the view all right and let's try again to set our top now it doesn't know where it is okay let's um, let's just work with our camera button so we have left width and height and let's keep like 25 from our uh, description text view and currently our text view kind of it thinks it knows where it is but i don't think it's going to work on our runtime so let's run our application to see what we have okay let's go to like hobbies uh, let's click on plus yeah clearly our camera and our text view don't know where they should be okay let's uh, let's try to do a workaround i'm going to select my camera and i'm going to position it in the middle of my screen and let's get rid of other constraints uh, which is top we want it the height we want it align this is we're going to remove and what we have let's just resize this to see if it updates it anyway okay um, let's also set our description in the to be horizontally in the center and just to rerun to see if there is anything we can work with okay more or less we have some uh, things stay in the place hopefully if you are watching this in the future and there is no beta version these uh, constraints are set properly all right i'm going to keep the constraints as they are even though there is a big gap here just uh, for us to be able to work with so now we have the user interface for add item view controller and we need to create a file that is going to control this view controller so let's do that I'm going to go to my items table view controller command n coco touch class click next and it's going to be subclass of ui view controller and it's going to be add item view controller click next and create so we can jump to our storyboard and now everything is black which is fantastic um, let's just select and set the view controller to be uh, add item view controller class that is going to control this view and let's again do the same trick we're going to select our button and maybe resize it yeah and it comes back to life okay we have all our views here and we have created our view controller so in our next lecture we are going to connect our views to our uh, file that controls our view controller